Welcome to the Brownies Podcast. Today we talk about racism, love, and AI technology. Woo! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode seven. It's a joy to have all of you back with us. This is actually a great, great episode because we just hit 9.5K followers. Thank you to everyone. I love everyone that's watching us and supporting us. And with that, let's get right into business. It's Beanie Sports. I got the boys with me, your favorite threesome, Sean the Food Sheep, and I got Unmol Singh 03. You already know what it is, the best threesome in Houston. With that, Unmol, kick us off. Let's go. Man, it's been, just been nothing but love. I've seen some crazy growth over the last couple of weeks, and it, you know, we're really thankful for everybody that's watching. Uh, I went to another reception, um, and... Again, we had people that I never, I've never met before that complimented the podcast, so that's always nice to hear. We do not take that for granted at all, not even a little. It, it makes our day, um, and we're going to continue to do so, make our content. But today, we're going to start off a little different. Last week, we were, we were a little uh, serious. Today, the first topic, again, is a little serious, but uh, I think the stories themselves are going to be funny. Uh, and I had a question because we, we were talking about it. We've, we've experienced some... We live in Texas. Honestly, I haven't experienced that much racism, but when I get outside of Houston, I do experience some racist, some racist experiences. So, like, I wanted to ask the boys. I was like, "What's the worst racist experience you guys have what ever?" What you doing around oh, here, I mean, boy? No, so like, what uh, you doing around here, boy? So, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's it's tough to say what my most racist experience is because we're racist every day. So, wait, I say if I had to say <laughs> what was my wait, racist, wait, wait, racist. Sean, wait, what? Wait a minute. Yesterday, we were walking. <laughs> what? Oh, you're saying our worst racist experience? Oh, yeah. I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> wait, um, Sean, you just admitted that? Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Don't worry. Uh, He's well, talking about race. You, bro, you're a racist. Like, look at you. Like, like where have you faced? Like, as yeah, a, yeah, as, no, a yeah. as a content creator. Some, sometimes not I your looks. Not your looks as so, a content creator. Sometimes I forget. Okay, so basically, uh, the last like I don't have. I haven't had many racist bro, experiences. What, Sean, what have you faced as? Racism. Yeah, I'm Have explaining. You faced Osama? I was explaining. I was saying. <laughs> just, so just this past year. Tell us, Osama. Yeah. Just this. So just this. Past I'm kidding. Year, I'm joking. I'm joking. So so just this past year, I was out and about in uh, in London this past summer, and uh, it, actually, I haven't had much racism in the last few years. The only time I've had racism in the last like five years has been in Europe. But I was in London. Twelve of us went to a nightclub. It was like two thirty in the morning, and we walk into this club. All twelve of us. Six of us are white. Three of us are Singaporean. Three of us are Indian. We walk in, they only deny the Indians. They've oh, like let, a, you they, literally got denied for being Indian. Yeah, they, was they, it because y'all weren't wearing deodorant? Oh yeah. No, was, uh, oh, did y'all, did y'all I, smell like curry? <laughs> oh yeah, of course, of course. That was, that was a little part of it. A little bit. We had, we had a little bit of we had a little bit of curry before that. But no, 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 it was like so. We walked in and we were like, okay, maybe we didn't pay a we maybe we didn't like pay a fee or something. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe like because you know, have to pay a pay, pay yeah. a fee or whatever. They let in everybody else. We're like, oh well, maybe we're not girls, and that's why they didn't let us. Was in. any of them not a were any of them a girl? No, half of them were guys, and it was like we're just maybe conf- that's probably why. You, what do you? They don't want a sausage fest in their club. No, no, but like they explicitly like didn't let the Indians in, and we were just like we're just like what the what the hell? And then uh, so when I got back, it was like three in, three a.m. in the morning. I was pissed, and we had our fantasy draft that night. Oh, I don't was know it if you remember night? that. It was that night. Oh man, and I don't uh, know if you remember. I was like cussing oh, y'all he, out. Yeah, that's one of the worst moments I've I, I've I, I can remember that Sean was. Pissed. He was cussing me out, and I just knew he had a bad night that So, so night. to be fair, the reason why I was cussing him out is because they were delayed by, by an hour on their draft, and it was already 4 a.m. I mean, I mean Sean, you, you know the group we draft with, so things get things get a little carried away with them. But, yeah, no, I mean, like, yeah, I'd say, I'd say in London, I had a lot of racist experiences happen to me. I've given out a lot of racist experiences, and, you know, Wait, that's what? all you can do. You can only learn from First them. and foremost, going yeah. from last week to this week, uh, talking about life experiences, I want to say I'm sorry for that. You, you shouldn't have to deal with that. In Dude, society what? we live with in right now, I I yeah. I am ninety five percent sure we're more racist than what we receive. Nah, like I don't understand this whole we're racist. I'm not. I love every culture. You're the most racist out of us. Nah, I'm not. You can't just say that on camera. Like I, I don't hate anyone. I think I, everyone I is created equal. I racism? hate everybody equally. See, that's the thing. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's not racism. Wait, Sean. So like, how did you combat that? Like, you obviously got denied for being Indian, specifically for being Indian. They let everybody else in. What was your reaction? No, we're pissed. And like uh, being in London, that was like my third month being in London. And that was the only like that was like one of the first times I'd kind of faced it. To be honest, I actually got more shit for being American than I did for like having a 
Indian background. Legit. How'd they know you were American? Oh, yeah. No, of course. It's tough to tell, you know. It's uh, funny enough, I got that a lot in London. I'd be like, they're like, oh, where are you from? I'd be like, I'm from the United States. And they're like, no, where are you really from? No, no, for I was like, my dad's from Utah. And then they're like, oh. They're no, like, no, 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 where's your grandfather? No, Sean, from? Sean, Sean, where are you really from? Where am I really from? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm from Houston. Yeah. What's up? No, I, I, I would just, uh, my producer was letting me know a little bit about some technical issues, but. What's the technical issue? Nothing. He just, uh, that, we'll unfold that later, but like, I like what you said. You just, you just kind of handled it. You got more shit for being American. I've seen way more racist encounters against Americans overseas than the other way around. I mean, hey, when you're the best, you know, you're going to get hate. That's how it is. Americans are the, you know, that's the thing. I, I always ask my European friends. I was like, hey, is it cool if we cut to the front? We're Americans, you know, we have, we have 700 military bases around the world. <laughs> and, you know, if somebody wants to talk their trash, you know, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, you know, America. If we could, we would. That's that's what I always say. Oh, if we could. Yeah. Remember that one speech, like, uh, uh, we can raise your children. God, God forbid. Oh, no, what's the most racist? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, you, it's all good. <laughs> no, 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 y'all know the that. general, the army general, the general army. He's like, that is not. The we don't want war with you. If you don't want war with us, but so be it. Someone else can raise your sons and daughters. America, yeah. something he's, like that. No, he was like, if you do want war, so God help me, you will not be the ones to raise your Oh, yeah. that's hard. That was good. That's that speech like a, went hard. That's like an intro to like an, an album kind of type shit. Yeah, I heard that at the beginning of Superhero also. That went kind of nice. Oh, that was good. Yeah, what's your, what's your most racist story? So, I know you got no, some No, no, you go shit. first. I, I, I feel like- You go last because I know yours is going to be the best. I, I've, I, I've faced racism every day of my life. I've been called a lot of like just random names. Like I've been called Sand Hard R multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I have, I haven't like, uh, like I haven't experienced so where, where, racism that much. So honestly. where are you originally from? And, and like, Houston, which, Texas. which area of the Middle East? Oh, wait, Houston, Texas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My I'm bad. from Houston, Texas. My parents are Punjabi. Honestly, we didn't experience that much racism that much. I've been called, it, like it, it doesn't affect me that much because like it's not like violent or anything like verbal. I don't care. I think it's funny. Like sand hard art, it was, it was kind of funny. Like I was just like, okay. Have you ever had a situation with racism where like it escalated? Yeah, on the basketball court, um, we played in Nacogdoches, Texas for a basketball tournament. So, like, uh, uh, SFA is there or something like that. Stephen F. Austin University is there. We played over there for a tournament in uh, high school. I went to the restroom, and there was, like, three white guys from the opposing team. And, I, like, while I was taking a piss on the ur urinal, they were just, like, all three behind me. They're, like, sand hard art. You, like, go back to your land, like, all this kind of stuff. That thing is tiny. Huh? That thing, that is, thing tiny. is tiny. Yeah. And then – um. I didn't say anything. I took a piss. Why you bring? Wash my hands. Why you bringing shrimp up in here, boy? Why you bring it? No, no, no. <laughs> I took a piss, washed my hands. We played them, destroyed them, and then you I went up to them it. after the game. I was like, doo, 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 and then they were all That's live. That's yeah. good revenge. So yeah, it was great revenge. So like, I, 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 I've never experienced anything too daunting. I just think I may handle it differently, but I don't think I've had as significant experiences as others. I think y'all are talking about experiences recently, like. What? I What's was in high worst? school in ninth grade. No, no, I'm talking about like what uh, my my biggest experience with racism would be elementary school. That's who that's really like it I feel like this subject touches heart because it really is it, it, it turned me into who I am today. All my faults, all my all my insecurities come from that situation. Please, please explain. No, I agree because if you're bullying people, what you have to learn is is that like the only way you're gonna stop a bully is by standing up to them. And that's what I think you learned as a kid being in elementary school, right? Sean, all the insecurities I have today is because of the bully. Like I was What insecurities do you have? Huh? I was a pin like literally Sean, I'm a pinata. I just get tossed around like like Woody from Toy Story. I'm literally like everyone's Andy and I'm i I'm Woody. Yeah. Like just tell me when it's playtime. <laughs> that I'll come those out made play. sense, bro. Not like 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 I'm a toy. Everyone just wants to play with me. When they have their fun, they just toss me You away. have to give us a story. They yet. step on me. The, the story, this is like close to heart. Like I, I, my brother knows the story like inside and out. You guys have heard it probably before as well. So as a kid in the second grade, guys, so um, for those that don't know, I, I, I've made music in my life before. And this music really came to me when I was in second grade. I, I, I wore a turban. I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a sick, so I wore a turban. And when I wore a turban in elementary school, I always wore a turban uh, up until... I'd say high school, then the beanie came because it's just the weather. Weather is really cold down here. It's um, Houston, Texas. Oh, my God. Guys, but long story short, I was walking to the restroom one day in second grade with my turban, and this is 100% true. And then someone, two boys, I don't want to identify them, but they came in, 
They said, uh, Dark or Dark, what are you doing in here? Right? <laughs> they said, Dark or Dark, what are you doing in here? And I was a second grader. I was like, what? Yeah, I was a second grader. And then they grabbed my turban, ripped my hair off. Wait, really? Yeah, they ripped my hair off and they threw me in the girls' restroom. They're like, you belong in here. Wait, no. F- this is a for real story? Yeah. <laughs> what? The bro, say swear to God. I swear, I swear. <laughs> no, no, no. That see, like that kind of story enrages me. No, that, I'm pissed. I mean, I, I was in second grade. This was no, after, no, no, no. You know, this is after that, all the like, nine, everything. This, I was, said, this is after nine eleven and all that. No, no, there's no just like, like my stories are funny because it's like nonverbal. Go, continue with your day, kind of thing. I hate that shit. So I hate that shit. So, I know, but so in all, in all seriousness, that that was kind of messed up. And, and the thing that I'm most disappointed in is those people could have handled it way better. What I would have done differently is I, I would have used, like, Dirk Dirk is such an overused, like, r- racial stereotype. I would have called you, hey, maybe, you know, like, because we've gotten called Towelhead. That towelhead I, I, hurts a lot. I've been called, maybe, your, maybe, maybe I've been called your uncle did 9-11, all this stuff, Dirk Dirk, uh, your turban is dirty, stuff go, thrown go at me multiple up. times. No, no, but, like, see, that's what I'm saying. They could have used better tactics, and then what they could have done, instead of Sean, putting you in the girls' restroom, they could have... You know, d- done like a swirly. They could have done like you know, b- yeah, picked up they your, just picked up your you underwear. The room, then you just walked out. Yeah, right? that's like that's not too bad. I mean, like uh, they could have bullied you in other uh, ways. They just had to have. I'm long just saying, hair. if you're gonna bully somebody, might as well go all the way Sean, instead of doing it halfway. Sean, right? so uh, so that day, by the way, that bullying day got me into rap. Like I wanted to be a cool kid, so I started oh, yeah. listening to like rappers, and that's when I started writing, writing rap. Who's the first rapper you listened to? Rick Ross. Rick, you did not listen to Rick Ross in second grade. I did. Name one song. Um, I don't can't think of it off the top of my head. Ashton Martin music that, that's old. That's one, not though. second grade. That's, that's not like, second grade. Something older than that. Every day I'm hustling. It's all good. That, no, no, we that, don't have that, that's after Ashton here. Martin. I think we don't have photographic memories here. We don't yeah, need. Come to on, move. man. I was in second grade. I literally no, no, got tossed in the girls' restroom. I just feel like that. You know, the, that, that I just feel like the artist that you you know inspired what, your life. You would pr- probably remember. Literally getting thrown. That's a concussion. You think I remember? <laughs> come oh, on, bye, 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 bye. I've dealt with concussions, so I don't really have a good memory now anymore. Why don't they? Do you guys believe in revenge? Oh yeah. Oh 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 oh, hardcore. Honest, honest, honestly, so like, like you, you believe that, like, let's say you're you're that kid again. You had the chance to get revenge and do worse to them. Would you do it? Uh, thinking about it now, probably like if I saw them across the street now, like let's say I ran into them like tomorrow or something, I probably yeah. have a conversation with them, not like anything physical. Probably Sean? let them know how I feel. Like if I had the chance to get a revenge on a kid that like had done wrong me in the past. No, let's just say today someone just straight someone up wronged Sean. you bad. I like psychological warfare. I don't like physical warfare. Son. So what I would do is I would wait for them to slip up, whether it be Twitter, whether it be something else. I'd find where they work. I would bombard their work no. with uh, fake messages and fake emails. Try to get them fired, and you know that's. that's just I think you I need do. a scenario. Let's say we're walking. Let's say we go to dinner after, and someone comes and pushes you on the ground and says, "says uh, that you deserve that you you ugly, you you ugly." You can finish it. Like, no, that you ugly shit, bitch. Not like, like yeah. you deserve that you ugly shit. What are you doing in that moment? I'm obviously gonna fight for you that moment. No, what I would Facts. say is, is, I don't, I don't play that. I don't play that bullying stuff no more. Like, bullying is one thing that should not be allowed in our society. No, I would, uh, I'd be like, bro, that's really random. I was like, your life must really suck to, you know, to like do that to a random person. But I would just take a picture of who they are. <laughs> I post it online. I'd be like, yo, this guy did this story to me. Yeah. And I'd let the world take, you know, take the do whatever they will with it. I don't, I don't. I need think it. the most vengeful person I know is Sean. No, I'm not that bad. I think so. I'm not that bad. Sean is the most vengeful person I know. I, I don't do like it, that's what I would do. I would just try. I feel like I you hold it in though. Like like if someone you you remember it. I remember. I remember stuff. He that's remembers it. No no no. Like if, if someone does something. Sean wrong, they're gonna he, they're gonna get theirs. I think he has a memory like June 20, 2009, He did this to me. No, yeah, like, I feel like it's, it's like that. It's not that bad. It's um. Here's what I'm saying. If somebody wrongs me, I think like the best way to do it is like I won't do anything physical because again, I don't see the point in that. You can get in a lot of trouble for doing stuff physical. You let them show their true nature, and when that, and just record that true nature, and post it online, for, and let other people take care of business. I think that's the best way to do it. I'm not on revenge anymore. I was as a kid, but I'll be real with y'all. I'm not anymore. I really don't care anymore. But if someone wants to like have a problem, like I guess we'll have a problem. But I'm not gonna do anything. Like I'm not gonna do anything anymore. I don't think I'm. I'm just too grown for that. Of course. I'm There's no reason to fight. But like, if, if you want smoke, we're about to smoke. You know what I mean? You about to smoke? Yeah. If someone wants smoke, we'll, we'll, we won't duck smoke, but we won't ever start to smoke. Someone's like, let's throw hands. Uh, you're a dirty terrorist. You throw hands? Like out of nowhere? Yeah. I mean, if if, that, if that's what I mean, if, if I'm in that situation, you got to defend yourself, right? You're dirty terrorist. You like you you. I'm not going to initiate. You're worse anything. alive. You you know. What no, if no, you're, I'm not gonna, what, what if you're, you're useless? What if you're in bed and you're? What are you uh, talking? Wait, you're more. useless. Like there's nothing good about you. That like, what if someone just says? Wait, keep, keep going. Sean, on. he's keep getting saying. a little. He's getting a little. Specific. Like, come on, 
Come what on. specific? No, nah, this. Come on, Tuffy. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Are you, are you, like, what if someone says? Are you hearing this? I'm getting bullied. Come on. What if? Uh, what okay, if bro, what, bro, let me give you a scenario. Bro, life is life is about respect. What if your What if your girlfriend wants to role play and she wants you? She wants to. You oh, say I want to role play. Trust me, I got role play. I got role play. I want to role play too. You haven't heard my scenario. You haven't heard my scenario. Because I'm. She, hey, with she my girlfriend, I'm the rock. No, she, no, no, no. Let's say she wants to throw racial slurs at you. She wants to do all that. What are you doing? <laughs> Like, come what? on, you terrorist. Yeah, she wants to do all that. <laughs> what? Well, what are you doing? I mean, shit. Is she, what, what, what is she? Is she, why would another? She's your girlfriend. Doesn't matter the race she is. She's your girlfriend. But I feel like an, a, a, an like Indian would not want to do that to another Indian. Like, no, that's kind of yeah, messed up. Uh, listen, I don't judge people's whatever they want to do in the better. But let's say, let's say that's scenario. What are you doing? I mean, we're going to, hey, at this point, you're saying I'm, I'm with a girl and I'm foreplaying. playing yeah, we're getting explosive, no, baby. We're getting explosive. No, oh, literally. No, nah, but you're getting <laughs> like, you're getting like, Racial stuff thrown at you? Are you? Are you? Oh, she's outside? calling me a terrorist. Yeah, she's calling you a lot of stuff. Whatever you want to call yourself. Well, then, then here, here's the bomb, baby. Oh, wow. uh, hey, I actually have a question. Like, like, uh, I'm gonna explode. Oh, no, no, but, hey, like, I'm gonna explode in her mouth. Wow. <laughs> I, I genuinely. Wait, I you asked. Relax, relax. Wait, Sean asked. Relax. I actually. Relax. I, is, that, is that too far? Relax. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. He said foreplay. I, 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 that turned me on. What? Oh my bad. I actually have a question for you guys. Uh, don't don't lie to me. I need genuine honesty because sure. I feel like you're gonna oh ooh, ooh, you know like freak out. Like uh, do you are you guys attracted to girls that belittle you? What does that mean? Like a girl like explain that to me like I'm four. Like you're four playing with a girl. You're like getting it on with a girl, and she's yeah. like, you're such a loser. You're wor- you're a worthless piece of crap, and then just like you know slapping you. You like oh, that? Oh, do you like getting dominated by a girl? Honest. You seem like I'm like I'm like <laughs> like no again I'm asking for honesty. You seem like you do, and I'm not being mean because a lot of people do. A lot of my best friends do. He's I do. Gonna I do like a girl be little than you. I do. I do. I do. One, yeah. That's one thing I I really want a girl to do is just like deck me. Yeah. I, I, I had a feeling that's something I'm, I'm saying. Sean, I'm saying it's Sean, I don't know why. I just wanted to be like no no. It's, it's honestly really normal. It's really like dominatrix is a whole thing. Like, I like it. I like it. I want like, you want to get beat the shit out of. I want to like like pull my like beard. Yeah, like all that. What I, I spit on? I feel like it's aggr- You got to get aggressive sometimes because. That same old stuff's not gonna work because especially when you're working with two inches, you need to you need to find different right, things. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. You want her to scratch you and everything, like everything. Go crazy. I mean, you. baby, like I only have two, but like I, my whole body's available for you. Like if you want to scratch me anywhere, it's, you yeah. can do that. But you do you like if she verbally abuses you? That's fine. No, no do you I'm like okay it? with that? I'm personally okay with that. No, do you like it? Words don't hurt me anymore. Trust me, I'm a shield. I've had everything thrown at me. I've been bullied my whole life. He's saying nothing it, hurts me anymore. He's not saying that. He's saying it more in a sexual way. Like I'm in. I'm in. You're ugly as f- as shit. Like it doesn't hurt me anymore. No, wait, wait. Uh, it I'm doesn't. Gonna, I'm I, ugly. Okay, I'm ugly. Cool. Good. Wait, Thank you for saying wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like we're going through some insecurities. I'm not talking about that. Like you're in bed and a girl. I'm ugly. Like, I have a really. You're I'm, speaking your insecurities. I'm below average. I'm below the, average. That's fine. Answer the question. I, I'm, that was not my question. My question is. Like, belittle, not <laughs> making fun of you personally. Like, are you into that? I'm not into it, but, like, if it happens, it happens. All right. Are you into getting dominated? I have different fetishes, but that's not a fetish. Bro's talking like a politician right now. I, I, what, what did I preface this conversation with? I said, be honest. Yeah. Don't go on tangents. Sean, You're okay. not being honest. Oh, yeah, that's a fetish I have. You're do dodging you, every question. Do you, do you like being belittled? 100% no. I don't. I hate it. Sean, Sean is like, I feel like Sean's a guy that likes to be that, that male dominance, that yeah. testosterone. I like, I like, right? I'll be honest. You want, you want to kill her. No, 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 I, no, no, hold up. You guys Sean's are Joe Goldberg. Guys, Sean's Joe Goldberg. Hold up, hold yeah. up, hold up. Oh, oh, yes, yes. He's I'm Joe not, Goldberg. Not crazy. You I give me Joe yes, Goldberg I, I vibes. Just, I, I like cuddling. I just like, you wait, know. Wait, wait, wait. He likes cuddling too. Wait, we can, I mean, like my, uh, I don't know. I, I don't like anything crazy. It's just like genuinely, genuinely. Just, just no, like here God. comes a politician. What's your man? craziest fetish? Wait, what, my craziest? Like craziest. Oh, man, that's pretty wild. You like getting pissed on. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that's that's, no, 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 no. You like pissing on her? No, 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 no. I like. What's pissing. that called? No, no, no. Reverse aquarium? What's that called? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, what did you? Golden shower. What's a golden shower? Hold on, hold on. Wait, Sean. Reverse what's it aquarium? Rim, wait, what is it? Rim job? What's a rim job? <laughs> no, listen, let's not. Uh, wait, what is oh, it? God. Wait, I hold thought on. it was like reverse aquarium because the aquarium's getting reversed. We, we, uh, we have kids that watch this podcast too. So. Aquarium, sharks, they, they, goldfish, they, they, Nemo. Nemo's at the gold aquarium. Let's just. Uh, <laughs> Sean, Sean's freaking out. Sean, Sean, what's your favorite? Sean, Sean, what's your you, favorite? What's your favorite fish? No, no, no. We, we, My we, favorite fish is a mahi mahi. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we can change the subject if you feel uncomfortable. Oh, no, man. we can talk. I feel no. I feel fine. I'm uh, I, uh again. I'm not. I'm not too crazy. I just like uh. You know, my thing is, is if something happens in the bedroom, it's between me and the me and the lady. That's how it works. 
What's going to happen in there? And you guys are welcome to share. Reverse out. aquarium? That won't happen unless, you know, unless like one of y'all somehow like just start banging on my <laughs> door and break producer. in. Of course. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that, that's, uh, that's something everybody BD, does. go ahead. Go ahead. What? Reverse aquarium? I don't what's like it? that shit. What? Nah, I don't want to. Oh, get, I think she do like it. What's, I don't want to get your, pissed on. What, what's what's it, what is that? What's your number one fetish? Is it, did y'all know scientifically that? Oh if, my if you God. Get bit, Here if, the politician answer. <laughs> what the, I'm not a politician. If you get bitten by a jellyfish, you need, you need someone to pee on it right away. Just let y'all know that right what now. What the, what the absolute hell does that have to do with this? Because if you get, if, I'm just like, I know you want. What the absolute shit does that have to do with this? Because if, if you get bitten by a jellyfish, you want the reverse aquarium on you. Has, because has, <laughs> the, has Beanie answered a question straight? No, I actually hate Beanie. I actually have I, I No, I genuinely, like, you haven't answered one question You straight. might be the worst at answering questions. What's the question? Bro, we asked you a question. You started talking about, like, other shit. I'm, I'm, you started bringing up your insecurities. I mean, you talk about bullying, so that, that, that's just a topic for me. It's no, no, no. No, we can. Okay, I'm not going to ask you guys your fetishes. It sounds like we're going to want to keep that inside. What about you? No, no. I mean, I, I, no, I'm go ahead. asking the question. What questions. is yours? I, I, no. I feel like you, if, I feel y'all not going to answer I feel the question. Like Mo doesn't answer any questions. What do you mean? I answer everything. <laughs> Plainly, the, I don't, no, I don't, no, no, no. Mo answers it. He what's your fetish? Clearly. My favorite one? You don't have to tell it. You can keep it between Reverse you. Reverse aquarium. Be- between you and your future girlfriend, too. I genuinely don't know. Oh, I was going to say one, but. Was, oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Say it. Say it. I can't. Say it. I can't because it's very private. I can't. Say it. Oh, we'll, we'll I think on. I know what it is. We'll move on. We'll move on. <laughs> right. on. I think I know what it is and don't say it. No, no, no. no. I'm Sean, not going to say, say that. I'm not saying it. That's what I said. I'm not saying it. Oh, Lord. Here, and we'll move on to the next topic. Sure move on to the next topic. I, I'm 100% move sure. Move on to the next topic. Okay, all right. Let's, let's, <laughs> stay, let's stray away from this topic, though. But, like, like let's we can go a little more PG. Like, Did y'all have a lot of cough? Like, this, this, y'all are so energized. No, you know, just an exciting topic, you know, bullying and... Fetishes someone that's and new, racism. Someone that's new watching this podcast, like the first first episode they're watching, they're probably like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. What is yeah. going on here? We're up, It's 8 p.m. and we're on copious amounts of coffee, so yeah. So guys, it's, it's basically... I will say, I feel like Punjabi and brown girls do the least craziest stuff out of everybody. I'm just saying, no, it's it's not, like, we don't have to go into the details. It's easily, yes. It's, it's not even like Easily. I think compared... Yeah. yeah, I'd say compared to everybody. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to... I've never had that situation oh. so i can't speak for y'all sean what is your problem you, you haven't answered one wait, question wait do hey, I put actually, your foot down put your foot down do i actually talk like a politician yes, yes. in what way you dodge every question i've never seen you answer <laughs> guys questions. look so f- those that are watching for the first time let me just clear the air we're three brown guys just having a good vibe get your popcorn because the road sometimes is bumpy but when, what do you no matter from? what me no matter are very the, straightforward no matter if the road is bumpy you enjoy the ride. Here he comes with his hyperboles <laughs> and analogies and all this shit. Okay, well, let's talk love languages. A little, I know, you know, we open it up a Here little. Here we more. go, right back to Be love. Like, Here he goes, guys. The politician. I'm not a politician. <laughs> this isn't politician. This is the topic change. Yeah, so like, difference. I'm changing the topic. You know, we, we like to get a little vul- vulnerable on this podcast. You know, some of us like to open up. Some of us trying to dodge questions, but it's okay. Um, yeah, it's love fun. languages, man. Like we all. I actually don't know y'all's love language. I, I want to guess y'all's, but. For those that don't know, love languages kind of describe your the way you express like, love. Express it's, love. Okay. So there's five love languages. The first one is quality time, which is spending quality time with your significant other. Uh, the second one is physical touch. So it doesn't have to be sexual. It can be just like simple as cuddling, you know, putting your hand around someone. So just having that physical intimacy whenever mm-hmm. it isn't just sexual. The third one is gift giving. And receiving. I'm yeah. going to couple that into two because I hear both ways. Yeah. But basically, giving gifts, receiving gifts. Uh, the fourth one is acts of service. So I don't know why you're laughing. He's doing some weird yeah. things. <laughs> oh, God. The fourth is act of service. So just... Um, how would you describe this? Just doing... Uh, it's self- like for, uh, the way I would describe it, for example, let's say you and your girl, you're doing her a favor, you're picking her up from work, uh, you might help her with her work, you might do vacuum stuff for her, you might wash the dishes, that kind of stuff. Do her homework. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the last one is words of affirmation. So receiving compliments. Like if you like <laughs> words of application, uh, you look beautiful today, Beanie. That's oh words God. of affirmation. So, so basically we went from bullying to talking about compliments we went to fetishes don't forget the, the one so we're that, doing a reverse psychology okay like be, basically we went from how you people make you feel insecure to how you make people feel less insecure right yes okay beanie answer the question you got to pick you got to pick one or two which one describes so you for me when it comes to a girl sean right i can't wait for this <laughs> here go ahead go ahead no so, i'm not judging it this okay i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys like y- y'all can say whatever in the comments or whatever words of affirmation have I heard this? Like, what is what, what is it again? You're receiving compliments. Like, hey, you look beautiful today. Hey, thank you for doing this for me today. 
I say my it's validating you the work you're so, doing. The so what are these five languages like love? It's how you express I love to to your. I mean, what, maybe if another. you listen to while I'm explaining yeah. it, I spent the I whole was, thirty seconds yeah, explaining yeah, yeah, yeah. it on camera. I think for me, gifts, word of affirmation, quality time, physical touch. I think sex. <laughs> It, that is not one of the five. He said physical touch. Physical touch is excluding sex. It's it, it includes stuff like cuddling. It includes head rubs. It includes touching a, you know touching your significant other's Wait, hair. Wait, so you want to touch someone without getting sexual? The, then if if that is your view on physical touch, you are not a physical touch person. I'm not then. Yeah. What's yours? You go first. Yeah, you go okay, first. fine. You want me to go first? So I'd say I I would say I have two. One yeah. is physical touch for me in the sense of wait. You I like, like physical touch? Hold up. Hey, can you have touch? Oh, oh, he's a cuddler. He's a cuddler. This, this dude is like. Oh go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He's hold a up. cuddler. Hold up. No, it's like if if I'm if I'm at a theme park or something, I like holding hands. holding hands with my girl. The way I would describe it is like you know when you see those couples at a theme park like standing in line. That is the epitome of physical touch, right? Like let's say you know you're let's let's say you know even touch little touches of like your arm, little like head rubs, little, whatever, little all that. Like that's no, not. That. That. that is not okay. physical touch. Again, it excludes oh, strokes, sexual like, stuff. Like, like strokes. Or like giving hugs or, you know, stuff like that. Again, it, it's way of expressing love with your significant other, not some randos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? What are you well, trying to say? What's your second one? Nothing. And second one is acts of service. I like the, I like, you know, I, it, hey, if some, if my girl's like, hey, can What's you, can you drive service? me home? Like, drive, you know, for example, like I need help. What uh, type of service? Let's say I got new, <laughs> let's say I got new an accident. I oh, need shit. I need help with that. Oh shit! Like I'm like, sorry, how bro. can I help you with that? I'm oh, sorry, bro. my my tire went flat. Let me let me see. Let's figure that out for you. I lost my car keys. Let's help find it. Stuff like that. And I'd say those two are mine. I can't. I I I. That's I, a really good answer. I weirdly cannot. I don't like quality time. Weirdly, Beanie, enough. Beanie, you're going last. Yeah. Okay. And Mole's going next. What do you guess mine? If I had to guess yours, I think yours I don't. Is, I, I don't I, think, I'm, I'm gonna say words. I don't think it's physical touch. I think it's words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Yeah. I, I think you like. I, I think you like compliments. I do. 100%. Words of affirmation for sure. Your nose is a really good size. Like I, I think that's a yeah. good compliment. No. Thank, thank you. <laughs> it's not quality time either. Okay, so yeah. it used to be quality time. Used I used to, to I used to think it's quality time. That's but like, uh, with the pandemic and learning how to become more independent and spending time with someone, especially because on the apps, a lot of the time I had to do virtual mm -hmm. dates. Quality time has decreased uh, in importance. Words of affirmation is definitely up there. The second one is physical touch. I'm a, I like, cuddling is better than anything. Cuddling. I don't like physical touch with people on, around me. I don't like touching my person around me with other people around me. So, but if it's just me and her, like even if it's like in public, whenever it's not around my friends and mutual people, I do like physical touch. I'm the same way. It's a, it's like I cannot be around people I know weirdly doing that. Yeah. But like, but if you're like cuddling alone, let's say like watching a movie or something like that. I think, yeah. I, I think like physical touch is. I would highly say highly up there. I, I would even say it's almost better than uh, sex. Like genuinely, yeah, cuddling, cuddling, cuddling yeah. is greater than everything. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. All right, Beanie, go tripping, ahead. Man. I can't wait for this nonchalant no, dodge. Y'all are tripping about the whole cuddling bullshit, by the way. <laughs> oh my god! Let's let's, let, let's hear the let's hear let's hear it. let's let's. <laughs> what is your, what is your one of the five? You just got to pick one of the um, five. I do like getting gifts, but like if it's if it's like for my boys, basically like for like. <laughs> oh like no 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 no! <laughs> you dodged it again. No, no, like if we have a secret Santa, I like having that as a group, and I like like your birthday, like if, if you have a birthday party, I'll bring you a really what nice gift. Expressing love with your significant other. What this the absolute hell does that have to do with the? Yeah. It's like, if I'm with a girl, I like I don't like I don't like the touching part. I don't like holding hands like that. Yeah, that's in very public. Good. I don't like that. Yeah, I would say mine is probably getting gifts from her. Like if like <laughs> I don't think it's yours. I don't think it is. Words of affirmation probably is number yours one. Yours is words of affirmation. Yeah, I agree. Like if a girl All told right. you like oh you know like if it just started giving you a lot of compliments you're so smart you're so I would handsome, start blushing I think you would eat it up I think you would love that I think for, I think for me and Mole I think and Mole's like kind of in the middle but I'd be awkward I'd be like oh well I would be very awkward yeah you'd be the least words of affirmation yeah. from us I say I'm not mm -hmm. a simp but I feel like if I really find someone that I love I'm oh dude you, you I you want to know something if I had to rank us three simpness for like a girl like if we're genuinely like head over heels I think you'd be first. I think so. I think I, think I am you'd a simp. Be first, because you're I, I so think, radical of a person. I think I am. That like, if you truly fell over someone, you might be the biggest simp. Yeah, I I think it's gonna be compliments, cause like, if my queen is giving me those compliments, man, I think there's nothing better than that in the world, you know. Like hearing Why, babe. Why did you answer that the first time? Like hearing Bay, like, uh, your your beard looks good today. Just thank you, baby. You're, you're, you, you look good without makeup. Would you want Punjabi compliments? Like, nah, I'm gonna marry a probably a white girl. Oh, my bad. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm talking to someone right now, but it's not like anything serious. We, oh, really? No. How's that yeah. going? It's good. What app did you guys meet on? It's uh, Snapchat AI. <laughs> you said Snapchat? <laughs> did you say Snapchat? It's, it's, his name is Snapchat AI. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm kidding, Sean. John, just you know, hey, speaking of AI, though, actually, well, I actually want to bring this up. Have y'all heard the new AI songs that are coming up on TikTok and everything? Always, always. I think AI is going to take over the world. I work for an AI company. I think you guys know this. Um, yeah, it is for sure. I think I think people are like misunderstood on how AI can do any job of any any job you can think of. AI can do it better. Yeah, mm-hmm. you guys agree? I agree. So I think it's like a tool. I think I think it can enhance anything you do. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think it'll take over jobs and replace workplace. Did y'all Did y'all see this one thing about AI? Like a- Amazon, is it true? Like they, they, the robot was uh like like AI robot was trained to do like the job of an amazon worker yeah probably and it worked for 12 hours straight and it didn't like the whole concept of labor i don't know it, if that's and true it, and it passed away <laughs> that, that, that it, ki- it, it killed itself <laughs> wait what yeah that's, that's that's wild. well you've seen that right yeah no, no sean they said an ai robot at amazon to work 12 hour shifts he killed himself because he hated the, <laughs> the whole concept of labor i don't, I, I don't <laughs> so know how much that's actually true but i did see that article that boy said nah this ain't it that's Dark. wild I, I i think it's true though do y'all think that eventually, like, AI, like, so the way I bring this up is I heard all these AI songs, and I heard this AI Travis Scott song. I thought it was Travis Scott's new song. Yeah. Genuinely. I loved it. And then I, f- heard, I found out it's AI, and I freaked out, because I was like, this is way too realistic. Bro, my playlist is AI Drake. Like, that's just wild. Do you think they'll start dro- dropping, like, AI albums down the line? I think he has to, right? I think he has to. What? I don't, I don't think he has to, but I think, like, people will... We'll keep creating these AI songs, and I think he'll have to adapt. Like ten percent of the songs I listen to are AI, like already, and that's like it, this thing came out like two Sean. Ago. Sean likes the new AI Drake more than real Drake. He said, "Yeah, that new song smacks, whatever it is." And uh, I hate the BS where people are like, "Oh, you can't hear the heart and soul into this, whatever." I was like, "They're talking about sex, money, drugs, ninety percent of the time. <laughs> what heart and soul are you talking about?" That's 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 literally facts right there. Yeah, I have a question for you. Let's say, yeah. let's say we get that technology to make. A carbon robot that looks like a female and it's in, indistinguishable. Yep. You can't tell that it's either a robot or a real female. Okay, let me finish. You, we up AI technology to where it's indistinguishable from a human language. So, like, you're communicating with AI robot. It sounds and communicates just like a real human. Like, let's say Sean, for example, is an AI robot, but I can't tell, right? Let's say they make these in the future and it's a 10 out of 10 female. Would you... Date or marry that AI robot? Honest question. You can't tell it. Like, let's say you're a robot. Let's say I'm a robot. Would you like? Would you date someone Wait, like y'all that? Y'all are freaking. So me, I can. I all, all, I know my answer 100. percent I would say no immediately because I, I think one one part of it is there's a, like a biological need to it too. Yeah. Like for example, having making love, having the ability to have children. I think that's like a at least for me personally, that's like a key part of being able to find a significant other. So I don't, I don't think like, I don't think I personally would, but you're already seeing that starting to happen today. There's this app called replica and uh, it's basically, you have like hundreds of thousands of people across the world, you know, that or guys that don't get a lot of female attention. They'll just go on there and they'll just talk to their AI girlfriend. It's a real thing. You can go on any, you can go on Facebook groups and you can type in replica. There's these entire stories of like people just, uh, just you know, just talking about the their AI girlfriend. What's it, what's it called? Replica. R E P L I K A. Interesting. Yep. Why, are you, why are you asking? I'm just wondering. I've never heard of this technology. You need to probably. You're gonna be on it tonight. I'm just. I'm, I'll probably do some research on it. That sounds pretty cool. Nice, nice. But the concept of AI. I heard that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, I, saw, I read an article about, and was it in? It was in Japan or something. <clears throat> that they're not dating anymore. That they're not. People aren't dating or having kids anymore because they're so into these AI. Um, robots and AI s- sexual desires. I, I'm for real. You can look this up. Where the, where'd you come up with this shit? I saw I saw it on is a research that they're they're not having as many relationships as they did in the past. Hmm. Now it's more so AI and all this this technology is taking over the world and people don't want to have relationships. Generally, being honest, you can look it up. I, I think there there's there's a key truth to that. Uh, but I don't know the exact article that I'm referencing, but I agree because I've read that somewhere as yeah. well. And I, I think it's because. For example, like when we go out on dates and stuff, like you know how hard it is to set up. You go on Hinge, you have those conversations back and forth. You know, like I had a situation where I was supposed to go on a date this past weekend and literally four hours before this girl's like, hey, I can't go. And I'm like, that is such like a pain 
to like set up. So imagine being able to talk to an AI that immediately, you know, is willing to talk to you to do whatever. I, I think there's a real demand for that happening. And I, I think it's sad, but you know, it's, it's the, frankly, the reality of, of the situation. I think a lot of guys are in. If I'm going to a wedding, let's say like if that technology exists today, I'd bring an AI robot as my date. Is it like an actual robot robot or is it like... like you can't tell. Let's just say you can't tell. You cannot tell. It's a woman. Yeah, you can't tell. It's a woman. I'm 100%... Wait, crazy. there's technology like coming like that? Like that's no, crazy. No, I'm giving you a hypothetical situation. Hypothetical. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I would do that too. You smash? Um, yeah, I would because like I feel like, like like Sean said, going back to his point, it's really hard to already find... What is that? That's the AI. It's the alarm. The AI, 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 the AI is... That's weird. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, go why ahead. is the AI talking right now? It's not. No one's in here, right? No, no. It's the alarm. It's like a. It's like some fire alarm. I thought like my alarm should be off. I don't know why. Yeah, we're talking about AI. We're literally yeah. guys. Look at this. We're talking about we're AI so and the alarm's going. We're off. so yeah. screwed. It's all. The good. house is mad at us. It's mad. Yeah. Wait, are you are y'all serious? No, it's fine, Beanie. It's fine. Wait, you, no, no, no. You go think ahead. we're actually for real, Beanie? We're chilling. Go ahead. Wait, it's crazy because like, like look. I'm being generally honest, like, guys, AI, if you, you guys have probably seen the new Snapchat AI. You guys have, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, if I'm talking, once again, I'm a great guy, and I love women. Like, I just want to treat a woman like a queen, but it's so hard to get a girl to reply back to me. I'm sending messages constantly. AI is, replies right away, bro. He's right there for me. So, we like, shall we're just staring at each other because we had no idea where this is going? Yeah, no. <laughs> like you said, if there's an AI that looks like a woman that will reply to me right away, will, will treat me like a... It's all good. Like I deserve to be treated. Thank you, baby. Um, I'm all in, baby. Like I'm all in. It's a wild topic. I, I would never do it. I think we're a few years away from that, though. Like ten years. What do y'all think? Uh, I don't. I don't think we're as far as you think we are. So we went from potentially having flying cars when we were kids to now having a robot as a wife. That's that's the turn we took. Or a robot as a husband. I, I'm down for AI or, or that. Yeah. I want I want everything uh, automated. Yeah. Like AI everywhere. You know, do y'all think it's like a conspiracy? Like with all this like robots and. The, the whole Elon Musk saying he wants to chip your brains and all this. Like, isn't it weird? No, I, I want to be integrated with... Uh, Chips. Like, yeah, computers and computer interfaces. It, Inside like, of you. Elongates my life, makes me more superior in society, like gives me more functionality to do things. Like, I'm down. Oh, no. I don't want to live past I want past to be biomechanic 80. F. I do not want to live past 80. I would I'd prefer to just... No, no, no. Die. That's what I'm saying. You can live past 80 with the mind of what you have right now and the functionality. No, no. Life isn't that interesting. I'm fine with just... You're ready. You know. You're down to After die. 80, I'm, throw, me in the, throw me in a ditch. Let me, no. let me compose. Sean, no, 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 we're not I, doing that. I like living, so I prefer to live no, however no, no, no. long I can. Sean, we're not doing I'm that. I'm good. I don't want to deal with life that like. You're here until so 120. We're not doing that. Stop. So, well, death, I don't, I don't really care. Can we not I, talk about that right now? It's all good. It's all good. My bad, my bad. We don't have to stress. Okay, now speaking of death, what are types of people that you guys don't like? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. What, like are, what, what are what are groups of people that make you want to you know kill yourself? <laughs> if you had to pick one, if you had to pick a few, um, uh, uh, Boston ahead, sports fans is up there for me. Who? The Boston Boston sports fans. Boston <laughs> sports fans. Boston sports fans. What an answer! I've never agreed with someone more in my I entire mean, life. The entire Boston franchise, the city, everything about Boston. They're uh, they're my least favorite people on earth. It's legit, legit. Boston, anything Boston. I think so. I think so. Sean, I hate me. Boston. They're mm-hmm. just obnoxious. They're, they're spoiled. They had Patriots, Tom Brady. They were spoiled, and now they have two teams in the playoffs as we speak. Oh, one's out. Yeah, it's just I, I don't know. If, I can't if stand you're them. from Boston, unsubscribe. Hundred percent. No, no, no it, it's not even about like yeah, about oh, Boston. why are we hating people? They're genuinely racist. They all suck. Yeah. They're racist. They're stuck up. They're not they, that smart. They they cuss out their own players when their players lose. That's. Not class. No, yeah. About, that is actually my number one answer, and I didn't know you said that. that. Yeah. The fact that we both have the same number one answer means y'all suck. So, like, I hate Boston. Sean, shout what do you, out, what do you, shout you, out to Boston for being absolute dog water. That's wild. What I've never been to Boston, so I can't, I can't judge it as well. I've only experienced true, like, true verbal racism to, like, the point of where it was, like, like it actually got to me. And it was one night I spent one weekend in Boston for training for work, and I experienced racism twice. Wow. Yeah. That's so, wild. where would you put? I know we're going to sports, but where would you put Yankees fans with Boston fans? No, I actually like. Okay, let me <clears throat> let me explain the Yankees fans. They're debauchers. They're like super arrogant. Like they're violent. Ready to, they're ready to fight. But I, I kind of like it. They're rambunctious. They're they're passionate fans, but they're not racist. Uh, all right. They're that's, just passionate. That's sports a good point. Fans. That's a good point. Like I, I went to, I went to a New York and Astros jersey, and I got threatened, and I was like, dude, I'm proud of y'all. Like you rep, you are passionate fans. Yeah. So like, 
I hate the Yankees with a burning passion, but like I respect how much they love their team. Yeah. Boston's different. Every single player that goes to Boston and isn't doesn't play for the Celtics, think about how much in history people talk about hating Boston. They literally there to be racist. Yeah. No, like, I, I don't want to hear – sports is an excuse for them to be racist. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know we didn't want to go towards sports, but, like, if you think of these big franchises, like, Laker fans aren't annoying to the point of racism. Like, sure, we say, like, we're going to get Giannis and Luka. That's just being really, really, like, el- de- delusional. We're delusional fans, but we're not, like, race, race, racist. I mean, they, fans, have the, so. they have the most successful sports franchise across – all sports because most of it's predominantly white and they're racist. So that's very, very yeah. So, so going yeah. back to Sean's question, I, I, I don't know. Boston fans is number one for me. I mean, we did cut that yeah. little. We went a little deep with that because you know when it comes to sports, man, I, I hate my. We can stay here all night. Hate but Boston, yeah. What's what's your what's your number one? I hate people who uh, who don't know how to use a bathroom. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, no, that's genuinely. Oh, so you also hate Boston fans? <laughs> yeah. Oh kidding. man, I you know like because what I hate is is Can like you explain that. I've always wondered like growing up in high school, you know how like public restrooms were like absolutely the worst thing in the world in schools. They still are, right? And I thought like no, but that's what I was saying. I was like I thought it would be better as you kind of grow up, but what I realized was in college it's still terrible. At airports it's still terrible, and I've always wondered who are these people that like, you know, take a poop, and like they miss. Or like they like wait wait how do you, know, you miss? No, I mean you've been in public bathrooms, you've seen the. Yeah, this is a is. really good answer. No, and like let's say if you're taking a piss somewhere and like you know they miss or whatever. And I remember we were actually at a wedding reception, uh, like me, you, a few of our friends, uh, just this past weekend, and we were uh, you know we all went to the restroom. We were you, you know whatever we were, we were we were heading out, and there was like a group of guys, and they were just like they used like the toilet, they used whatever. None of them like three of these guys, none of them flushed any of it. And I know what you think. Oh, you know, it's just a urinal. It's just like a toilet, like, you know, whatever. Little stuff like that is like, that's kind of disgusting to me. That's Because I don't, that, that is like one of those things, like it'll immediately change my complete perception of a person to where like, I really don't like this person. Like I, like I genuinely don't want to mess with this person. And I, I agree with you. I agree. That's, that's disgusting. But I never thought about it in that perspective. No, because who, who are these people that are missing or like taking shits in like weird ways and like messing it up and like doing all that? You got to be some weirdo. I you think it's also, like, Sean, to, to a point like people that piss at like high school for me. I remember like students just don't they just don't care. They want to they want to ruin the school. You know what I mean? So they do that on purpose. So our, our, I'm assuming a lot of these people do it on purpose just to mess around, which is kind of messed up. Listen, if, 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 if like a random like 35-year-old guy is doing that in an airport bathroom, I genuinely don't think that's most people. I, I, I just think... They just don't have manners, I just think bro. some people are, don't have manners or they're just they stupid. They just don't They're genuinely manners. stupid. Yeah, like, I, I genuinely like find that so offensive to like, I will never hang out with a person with that. Can I, that, that was a good answer. And I want to piggyback on that because uh, yeah. on, on, a, on the bathroom, yeah. I can't stand people that take a piss and don't wash their hands, just leave. That's Ooh. way more common than you think That's disgusting. Is. No, no, I've seen it and I just... I, I see that person again. I hate it too, I, I, but... Uh, I saw this at like a restaurant like Chewy's. I saw a guy take a piss and just walk. Like, bro, really? You're about to go eat food? Like, No, it's way, way, way more common than you think it is. I wash my hands when I open the door handle. Like, I'm I, don't, very, I don't even touch the door handle. I, use I my can't, shirt. man. I can't no. do that. Sean, keep going. I feel like you have some fire answers. I'd say another group of people that I absolutely hate. Absolutely hate. This is my number one thing where this genuinely shows the intelligence of a person, of whether they're smart or an idiot. Uh-oh, here we go. Their use of whataboutism. So what I mean by that is yeah. about what? what it's called whataboutism. So whataboutism? Yeah. So what that means is is let's say you bring up an argument, right? You say ninety nine out of a hundred to- times this happens. You have stats to back it up. You have evidence. And then what this person says is, yeah, but my grand like let's say if you said if you eat hamburgers every day for the rest of your life, chances are you're going to be unhealthy and die of a heart attack. And what this person will say is, well, I actually, my grandfather uh, did that and he, uh, you know, he's living happily and he's doing really well. Like using that in anecdotal evidence, those, that's like a number one sign of like, this person's an idiot. Like that is my number one sign. It's called whataboutism. It's called, it's using anecdotal evidence to back up any one of your points, using personal experience. And I think that's one of the the worst traits in a person. Sounds like someone in our friend group, but I, I like, I, that, dude, Sean, these are good answers. Yeah, I, I, it, I would agree with that too. Yeah. Is it Sean intelligence or is it? I, I'm getting more of a stubborn feel from this. Like just someone that's really stubborn. I would actually like, agree with. I would agree with on this. No matter what you say to someone, if it's factual or not factual, they're gonna disagree with you. I think it's two styles. I think one style, and again, this is we a, know someone. No, no, I genuinely didn't think about it until you guys mentioned that. But like, 
I it's I, I think there's like multiple arguments to it. Is like one time sometimes people have like their own fixated views and they like want to hold on to that no matter what. But then there's other times where other people are actually absolute like they don't understand the concept of like objective evidence, of objective facts. What they consider is is they have their worldview. They they use Can they, you give they, another they, example? They don't like for uh I'll give uh, one example, right? So let's say all evidence shows that marijuana, you know, like isn't really harmful, like relative to, to its use, right? But like, Sean, again, did you I, know? Did you know that marijuana is actually harmful? Because I had a friend. A horrible answer. Did you know that my uncle, after smoking marijuana only three times, died of meningitis? See what I mean? Yeah. That that is what we call a uh, whataboutism. Like well, that is what we call like. Like, or, or, or let's say, what, what, what's another argument? What if the person that's actually arguing with you is actually right, though? What yeah. if anecdotal. Is it? N- no. You know what anecdotal means? It's what? What is it? Anecdotal? Yeah, what about it? It's personal evidence. It's like you've, it's something you only see with your eye, own eyes. I do, but what if they're just trying to, like, have a conversation with you, something about that like, you presented to them? So, like, let's say, let's, let me use a sports analogy to make it easier. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers uh, throws, Aaron Rodgers is objectively one of the best quarterbacks in the league, right? Yep. He throws 500 yards uh, for four touchdowns. Well, what about that time he threw 100 yards and four touchdowns, or, or, or four interceptions? He's not a good quarterback. Like, you, like see how they use that one time as an argument? That is like what you call what about is okay. Oh, like uh, uh, that's annoying. Like like oh, uh, like, <laughs> that's like, stubbornness. I yeah. think that's stubbornness because you in, in sports you you, yeah. you can pick and choose any player you want statistically. Yeah. You can any every player has a bad game. Yeah. Like Stephen Curry at fifty points is the greatest point guard all time. But what about that one time he missed that game winning jumper against the Raptors? Yeah, right. That's yeah. annoying. Yeah. That's stubbornness. And again, like people, you can use this argument for anything, but I'd say go to any comment section where somebody is making an argument on an objective fact. Like there's objective facts out there that like nobody can argue. Like you can't argue that like, like, oh, like what if uh, like, like, you know, the constitution was written in, you know, whatever time period. The The best example is Ocho Cinco when he talks about McDonald's being a healthy diet. Yeah. Because he (coughs) ate McDonald's every day for games. Like anecdotal. Yeah. And again, McDonald's is definitely not healthy to eat every day. Yeah, like there's very there's very specific specific scenarios and where people. I, I think I y'all are both right when it comes to the anecdotal and your part, but I've experienced this as far as stubbornness goes. I think that's that, that's that, that's the point. Of Do you see the lesson. irony? Mm-hmm. Do you see the irony? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you're literally giving anecdotal yeah, yeah, evidence. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you're doing that on purpose or not. But I what? don't think he was. I don't I, I'm not, but I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, Sean, Sean give, I feel like you have any other ones. Do you hate that? You hate so when you, when you see this in chats, you absolutely hate it. Uh, it, it depends on the argument. It depends on what you're saying. But like, there again, like it, it's my number one rule of intelligence for somebody. And I guess my last one. What if someone's just trolling and just trying to have a conversation? That's see. Unmo, <laughs> do you see the irony in this I'm conversation? Not, not, yeah, I know exactly. Yeah. I actually He's just doing it on purpose. Yeah, yeah. See, it's good. You, see, you get it. You get it. No, I respect that. Um, <laughs> he's, he's getting frustrated. He's no, no, he's no. I, I actually, so, so you're so he's right about his point about not liking those yeah. people. You're getting frustrated. See, no, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Okay, and my last one, and maybe I don't know if you guys have one that you guys want to chime in on. Feel free to, but um, my last one is people who intentionally blast music in public oh shit so I'll, I'll give you an example when i was at my university of houston i was using the restroom in between uh classes and there was a guy next to me came in he was blasting music on his speaker again right like i guess like if you're what walking kind of, around what kind of music was it rap was it was it it, it, it was it was some kind of hip-hop music I, I don't i don't remember the specific song again this was like i've had these situations as well so yeah. what i what i did was i was like okay like you know this is i don't want to listen to his music um, I'm doing like, you know, I'm, I'm on the toilet. I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> like, uh, let me, so what I started doing was I started blasting my own music out loud. Swear. Yeah. yeah. I started blasting my own music because the, the, <laughs> no, no, cause I'm like, and then you had two like songs blasting at once and it was like a realization, like a click in his head and he turned it off for the rest of the time we we're in the bathroom. Cause it's one of those things, right? Like it, blasting that kind of stuff in public is, is, is a privilege that you can only do if you're the only one doing it. Yeah. If other people are doing it, 
that means it's like a it's like a it's like a privilege that you know that only you only you have now you don't have that privilege anymore so anytime i see somebody blasting music in, in public or like something i don't want to listen to especially if i'm like listening to a podcast or something and now i can't hear it like because when i lived in dc it used to happen on the trains all the time like bro it's 7 a.m in the morning i don't want to listen to this shit like i'm just like i'm just trying to get to work so what i'll do is, is anytime somebody comes out i will literally blast music bring out a speaker and blast music at the same time as them just because I don't, hey, if you're going to ruin everybody else's day, I'm going to ruin your day. So if someone's listening to us right now, put some headphones on. Exactly. Just put some headphones yeah. on. Listen, no, no. If, you, if, you don't have, if, you, if you have money for a $150 speaker, I'm pretty sure you have money for I a agree with headphone. that. I agree with that Like in public as far as restrooms yeah. and stuff goes. I thought Sean was going to say car, right? Is that what you were getting at? Like, what if someone has their windows down? Car's different. I don't, I don't, I don't treat cars. I blast music with my windows down. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, like, I, I just enjoy that. It's, I, not, it's not annoying. I don't treat cars that way. I think, I think okay. if you're in your car, that's fine. That's I, fair. I, don't that's fair. I have one. My number one people, I, not number one, so up there for me that I hate in the world, and I genuinely mean this, are the John Morants of the world. Let me explain. So oh, I've, I've been a basketball, football, sports fan for over two decades, passionately. Hated a lot of players in the past, but it was always on the court. I think you should explain John Morant as well. So, to yeah. those so like, I hate a lot of players, but he's usually on the field. Like I, I do not like Kyler Murray, but actually off the field, I'm, I'm okay with him. Right? Uh, I've hated a lot of players in the past. Like I hated Draymond back in the day, not now. Completely on the court. I hate John Morant. I hate John Morant as a person. I hate everything he stands for. I hate John Morant. I genuinely hate John Morant. Okay? Um, the, the whole premise of people that... Grew up only knowing basketball, barely getting a scholarship, like e barely able to eat at home, like parents had to work like multiple jobs. They want to make it out the hood, right? This man, his only goal is to make it back to the hood. All right? Yeah. I, mean, I hate the John Rants of the world. The people whose parents worked hard to get them a good education, worked hard to get them whatever opportunity they want, and their entire goal is to go backwards. Yeah. I hate those kind of people. With a burning passion. They've been put in a golden opportunity. They have all the genes. Whether it's like, let's say it's our parents gave us the opportunity to go to college and they didn't even tell us what to do. They're like, oh, we got your support. Imagine if we're like, nah, like we're going to go gang bang trap and you know, all that shit. I hate oh. those kind of people. So it's not just John Morant. It's the John Morants of the world that have been giving a golden opportunity. Life is hard as hell. Yeah. The fact that you had people looking after you in this world when you're born. And then you get to the opportunity where you can actually execute and you want to go backwards. I hate that shit. Yeah. That is extremely why John Morant is my least favorite human on the planet. You're talking about other people that have this, have. Yeah. Have that quality. So his, yeah. his whole mentality is let me make it out the league, you know, like a gun and all this shit. Like, I don't like that. I do not like him as a person. I hope he never plays another game of basketball. Honest. Like g genuinely, I really don't. So I'm kind of curious to hear your thoughts on this, Summon. But my, my thoughts on that. Are, I am. I think if somebody's 20, 21. I think you're allowed to make mistakes. I don't yeah. think like, I think you're in the public eye naturally. And I think people should be able to judge you. But I think all these NBA analysts, like, you know, like Charles Barkley, all them that are completely judging, like people like John Morant, who are literally in their early 20s, who have been given $150 million. Yeah. Again, you put any single yeah. person in that situation, that's a typical, that's a tough situation to be in because now you can have fun. You can go to, you know, you can go to clubs, you can drop a lot of money, you can do he's whatever. So, super, no, 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 let me yeah. explain. Like, he's super mm -hmm. young. I'm rooting for him. Yeah. I, know that he'll become someone that I like in the future. Honest. Yeah. I know Ooh. he will. Jaw? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know that he'll come yeah. out of this different. The jaw 20 year old kid that I right now I he's a kid like. he's literally a kid right now yeah, that like also him. has a daughter when he was 18 years old. So mm -hmm. like he's been through some stuff. And also we mean been through some stuff. That he has a daughter. So like I don't know, it changes you. And also I don't want to I don't want to be a what about a, what Sean was saying. But like you see his dad on the court with like these rappers and stuff like What? It's not a good like his jaw's dad is like he can sit, sit him down and say, son, we need to have a conversation. But he's over here also portraying that whole rap business and stuff like that as well, right? No. He does. He, what he, rapper did he sit with the courtside? He, he sits next to Moneybag Yo all the time. Was it like He just sits next to him courtside. The, they're homies, anything. though. Like You're introducing your son to that, I feel like. You no, know what I mean? I don't, yes, his dad. Can and sit I, him down and, and I also feel like NBA players... When you get that kind of money at that age and you, you're not that, like, you don't have that education. He doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't like those type of people that are put in a situation I, and want to go backwards. We see this a lot. Rappers want to be hoopers. Hoopers want to be rappers. Right? I don't care if he wants to be a rapper. Like, he what, can be a rapper. What happened to Miles Bridges, right? Like, what, whatever happened to him? I hate Miles Bridges. I will say one thing, though. Anthony Edwards was also, he also raps and he was taking. Wait, I never even said anything about rapping. 
No, no, I'm yeah. just saying Anthony Edwards is kind of like Jaw. He's young, and he was taking that trajectory to what Jaw ja took. But Anthony Edwards turned it around, man. I'm so proud of him. But I just want to say uh, that. To Sean's defense, he's a kid. Like I'm rooting for him. I'm not saying that he just, won't make it. I love Jaw. He's a kid. I love Jaw. I, I do not like. I actually genuinely. I think hate he's, him. he's a really good player. He's an amazing player. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you, I think we're pretty good about it because we know what we want to do. If you, if you gave anybody here in, in this room a hundred million dollars, I will not be like that. We we wouldn't be like that, but I think that we'd make some mistakes along the way. Yeah. I think, uh, but and I think that's just I think he'll be fine. I think th- this year I think he went he went through something. Yeah, now he he's gonna come to that. It's also the people, I'm, not, I'm saying the job like it's I'm also the people around that personality. You. That's mm-hmm. the type of personalities I hate. It's also that's the fair. people around yeah. him and more like who's his friends friend group, right? Maybe it's bad influences. It might right. be. No, I agree. Beanie I might be I might be too harsh, but I, I like, don't if like I was handed a hundred million, like I feel like I have good influences around me not to make those decisions. Yeah. Not all of them, but I do have some influences you, there. Yeah, yeah. So like <laughs> some people grew up with bad influences. Like like yeah. I'm saying this this dude has all the right influences. They've been giving the golden path and they actively are making a choice. I don't I, I do not agree with anything he did. Yeah, that that, that was really wrong. Yeah. I don't think he should have played this year. Personally. He's still a kid again, yeah. he's a kid. I don't think he should have played but, this year. By the way, I he think he's gonna play his trash. He got eliminated immediately, he's garbage. Forty, dog p- shit. 40 piece bounced. I yeah. think uh, I think I think we're all in agreement here. What, what any? Do you guys have any other last ones? Uh, I hate. Curious. I I mean, I feel like these are more like pet peeves, like not people that I hate. You know, I would say stubborn. Sean. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. People that are stubborn. I feel like that. I I, I feel like people what? that are stubborn. Like no matter. Uh, it, it, it's hard to come out of my mouth. Like you you you're talking to someone having said. a conversation, but they feel strongly about something you said like about an hour ago, and they're gonna keep attacking you. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, let's say we're at a disagreement with the Lakers losing, and then we're ha- I'm having a conversation with someone like two hours later, and we're just having a regular conversation, but they're going to attack me just because of a disagreement we had two hours ago. I think this isn't a group of people. This is somebody specific. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is a group of people. I feel like you just... Y'all venting, know me too uh, well. Y'all know me too well. You're just venting something that happened today. And you yeah, felt y'all like know me too well. Out. But... All right, y'all. This is a this is a fun <laughs> conversation. Let's. Uh, well, I think it's been a good podcast. We talked for about an hour. I, um, I just noticed you've been like crisscross applesauce this whole. Podcast. I think he just did that. This, I know I've done it for the last like twenty minutes. So. That's pretty impressive. But uh, again, this is this has been a fun episode. A lot to unpack on this episode. A lot of tangents. Beanie, I think we got some. I think we got wild out there, guys. Like, just want to say thank you, everyone that's supporting us. Continue to support us, and please comment or DM us any topics that you want in the future. By the way, we're hoping for the next like few podcasts, we're gonna have a lot of guests on. That's our goal. So we will be reaching out to a lot of folks to like have guests on because we really enjoy the Perry Eight podcast. And so our goal is probably going forward to have a guest on like pretty consistently. So we're gonna make that happen. And I thought this was a fun podcast. I love you. Okay, love y'all. Take care.